We're dining at Lamplight Lounge during Disney's 100 Years of Wonder celebration. Let's see. I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. You're watching the Theme Park Foodies, and we're back at Disneyland. One of the first times, or actually, this is, I think, the full, first full video we've ever done here at Disneyland. It'll be at a place we've wanted to eat at since we first came here in 2018. Where, Sam? Lamplight Lounge. Yes, so Lamplight Lounge is themed after Pixar. It's located in Pixar Pier, the former Paradise Pier, uh, when California Adventure originally opened, but now themed to Pixar. Uh, you can see as you walk under the Pixar Pier, banner it has the lamp light moving around looking down at you uh anything that you have your eye on sam anything you're interested in Kung Pao Bao. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, there, there's a lot of good food there it's one of the hardest reservations to get we had to get up like 60 days in advance seven o'clock california time just to get this reservation they do have some i believe notable notable drinks for the 100 years of wonder celebration because they are celebrating the 100 years of the walt disney company here at Disney's California Adventure, and uh, I'm really excited to try out the food, the specialty options, see all the Pixar theming inside. You have a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I mean, the, the area itself is just very picturesque, right? It is. I'm so happy to be back. Like, we, this is our first time, we just walked into the park and we haven't yeah. been here in five years. So yeah. It's just like a surreal feeling. I, I don't even really feel like I'm here. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. like weird. It feels like a dream. I feel, yeah, I feel like I'm in a dream. Especially state. like this time of like night, or as it's if the sun is setting on Pixar Pier. Yeah. yeah, just a beautiful night. Ready to eat some awesome food at Pixar Pier. We also will be checking out uh, Wondrous Journeys, the fireworks show. We're, we're gonna try to check it out. We're gonna head over there right after we, hear we eat. Really good things. Yeah, about it. yeah. So like we hear happily it's a, ever after yeah. level. So yeah, I can't wait to experience it. <laughs> You ready to eat? I'm ready. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our dinner and night here at Disney's California Adventure. So Pixar Pier is kind of tucked all the way to the back of Disney's California Adventure. That is just so cool. Oh my God, the lamp. And then the Lamplight Lounge is like literally right over there. Just to show you guys, here's Lamplight Lounge. And again, the pier is right here. Sorry about the sun, but you get these like beautiful views of the pier from Lamplight Lounge. You can see the Luxo ball. And then look at the fine attention to detail and the carvings in here. It's really nice. All right, we're checked in. Lamplight Lounge. They say we just go downstairs. Oh, wow, look at this, Sam. <laughs> Sam just found Frank. Of course, I'm already, like, going to cry. <laughs> well, you have the Frank ears on. Let's show him your, your sweatshirt. Yeah, all the Pixar I love. For Slinky Dog. You can see hand drawings of all different Pixar characters up there. Right as you walk down the steps. Alright, let's see uh, what type of dining experience awaits us. Oh, the restroom sign is up themed. Oh, there's a little hidden Mickey in that lamp. Alright, we're in. Wow, it looks so nice. Look at all the stuff on the walls. Oh, they're seating us right at the bar. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wish we had a peer view. It's just the, uh, yeah, it's just very tight. I almost want to ask. We did get this reservation like six months in advance, you know? No, or, or sorry, 60 days. All right, so they were kind enough to move us. This chair is so comfortable, but it's like, it's so low. Yeah. I'm like sinking down, but yeah. it's super comfy. We may not have a peer view, but we have nice views of like the... Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, and they have really cool menus. So it's only one 100th anniversary cocktail. It's a gin-based cocktail. I might get it. A lavender something in it. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, and they have a lot of good looking food. I like this menu too. Looks like it's like hand drawn. You can see the full menu. They have wine too. And they have some fun non-alcoholic beverages. Sam was looking at one of them. I'm definitely, I'm getting the 2319. She said she's getting the 2319. Also, look at these coasters. So fun. Yeah, we should take them home, right? 
All right, so Sam, uh, that is the mocktail. It was a mocktail, the 2319. So it has strawberry puree, cream of coconut, pineapple juice, and it's topped with Coca-Cola. Oh, I wow. Made it a little interesting. Yeah. Kind of wild. It has a little pop to it. It's really pretty, too. Yeah, it's, it's, I like the... Uh, the, it looks like on the bottom it's, it's more liquidy and on the top it's more frozen slush. This is so good. <laughs> this might actually be like my favorite mocktail that I've ever had. Really? Wow. I guess it was only seven bucks, which I feel like is like a good price. Yeah, I feel like recently I had a real good mocktail. Well, the soda is so nice in it, I don't know. I never had like Coke mixed with, you know, fruit flavors, like tropical flavors, but it works well together. I really, I really like this a lot. I'm actually gonna go nine. Wow, that's a high number. I just think it's different, yeah. you know? It's a good buy. I feel like usually mocktails are just like strawberry lemonade. How does the coconut mix with the uh, Coca-Cola? It's good, it goes, I think they go together. Nice. All right, so this is the D100 cocktail. It is a gin-based cocktail. I know there's lemon juice in it. Oh, I think our food's coming, Ooh. Sam. All right, uh, we just got the, look how good this food looks, Sam. That's it. I feel like we could have just got that and ate that. Yeah. That's insane, <laughs> these Jason. Are the, these nachos are what they're known for. That's why I really wanted to get them. They have the lobster nachos. They also have, uh, we got steak on top. Yeah, we added the And steak. then you got the bow buns, Sam. Um, the, I think this is way too much food, per usual. That's how we do it. All right, so let's try this cocktail. Uh, we'll try, try to put lower third. There's so lavender, I think there's tea. There's a flower, I know that. You don't typically like floral notes, so I was like surprised that- I'm usually not a gin fan too. Yeah, I, I was really like wondering why you got that. The lemon brings it together. Really? It's good. I'm gonna finish this, it's real good. Oh. The lemon and um, whatever they use to sweeten it works very well with the gin. The, the taste and the flavor of the gin is accentuated by the flavor of the lemon and the floral notes. But whatever they're using to sweeten it with is really what brings those flavors together. If you didn't have that, it would be too harsh for me. But this is really good. I'm gonna go with an eight. Um, and I think, I'm not sure if Walt was a fan of gin, but I feel like all people from the 1950s- Walt's favorite, were, everything yeah. Walt's favorite. <laughs> so I feel like that's why it's like, ah, oh, it's old, people, old things, gin. Um, who knows, maybe he did though, and I'm actually really enjoying this. And I'm not a gin fan. It's right? very it's, pretty too. It is sweet, just so you know. There are floral notes and there's that little tartness from the lemon. It just, it, it, and of it course- It tastes like a gin sour patch dip. Ooh, yeah. the I'm purple for the hundred. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so they gave us all our food at once, unfortunately, and yeah, I'm sure things are cold. We don't have a lot of room at the table, but we got everything. Very low. Yeah. I feel like I'm really on a struggle bus right now. I've been up since three in the morning. Yeah, we need to take a nap, but we're going to keep going. How bow. So it's like crispy pork belly. There's peppers. Bao bun, obviously. I'm always a fan of Disney bao buns. I feel like for some reason this is something they they hit home with. Look at this is all the food we got. Here's the nachos, there's Sam's salad, and then here's my burger. So I'm sure we won't be finishing all of this, but I'm gonna eat a lot. <laughs> Are you joking? Are you okay? Oh no. Too much pow. <laughs> I'll try those out. I can't handle spices. That's really spicy. I'll give you some of my burger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, it's very spicy for you. How do the flavors mix with the spice? Are just overpowering by the spice? Or? So spicy that I, it's good. It's crispy. The pork is very crispy and there's like sesame seeds, but it's just like the sauce is just too much for me. One out of ten. I feel like it's not fair since I'm not a... But for someone who doesn't like spice. The bao is good and, and the pork is good. It's just if it wasn't spicy, I would go eight. But for me, it's a five, but that's just... Because I'm literally choking because I can't... Yeah, no. You gotta go with what you think. All right, so we got the nachos, we got the burger. I'm gonna try those two things out. Uh, the nachos look very good, Sam, and they are well known for these nachos. That's a, I feel like we honestly could have just got the nachos and that we would have been fine. Now these, 
You shouldn't eat. You know what this is? That's spicy? Jalapenos? What is that? Jalapenos. Too spicy for you. Cheese. I'm not even a fan of jalapenos. Look at all that. I wish this was warmer, but it's our fault because we take pictures of things. You know? Mm. I can't believe how spicy that was. The lobster is not fishy. The meat on this is more chewy than I had anticipated. Actually, no. I'm sorry. It's not very chewy. I think everything is, and it's layered well. Look at all the layers, Sam. Every spot has something on it. This is this has got to be another one of the, and the chips are all crispy, even though it's cooled down. Those look like I'm gonna go nine. fresh made I'm chips. Gonna go nine. It's a solid lobster. It's got great sauce. Am I gonna be able to like pick out the lobster mm -hmm. from pieces? Well, there's some on top here, but you you've enjoyed lobster before, Sam, at our wedding. You remember? Yeah, but that's because it was like fried. It was in a corn dog. When things are <laughs> are fried like that, it's kind of different. I don't, I don't even really taste the fishiness of it. That's the thing, but it may be different for you, Sam. For me, for me, that's a, that's a that's a nine. It's good. All right, so this is the cheddar burger, Sam. Um, it's got cheddar cheese, obviously. It's got like a special sauce on top. And it goes with that. That looks really good. I'm glad I got the salad though, because I feel like. These appetizers are pretty big portions. The fries look good. That's so good. It's a little spicy. I feel like spice is the flavor here. That sauce they have is a little spicy. These are like steak fries. I'll give you a little side of ketchup. Oh wow. These are great steak fries, yeah. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. The bun on this is such a high quality bun too. And look how, I got medium rare. It's probably a little bit more. Uh, the center is about medium rare. I'm gonna go eight, nine and eight. So far, I don't think anything has really been lower than an eight, except for your kung pao. That's, that's my pow. fault. I didn't. I didn't realize the pow was gonna be so pow. Just so you guys, there's a lot of pow in that kung pao. All right, this is the salad, Sam. Specialty salad. So we have baby gem lettuce, roasted chicken breast, house made charred shallot ranch, blistered tomatoes. Crispy bacon bits, pickled onions, and house-made garlic croutons with whipped blue cheese. This is like a very elevated salad. I, this is very fancy. Look at, look at this crouton. Is that cheese? I thought it was cheese. Crouton. Oh, it's like a whole lump of lettuce. I love it. It's like a deconstructed it's like a salad. Wedge salad, but this is like a baby gem lettuce. Yeah. Salad. Is it romaine? It's not romaine. No, it's gem lettuce. Oh, never. Oh, I didn't even know there was a gem. That's my knife. The chicken is on the side. Yeah, so I said it's like deconstructed. You gotta like yeah. build your bite. Right. Sam has got her bite together. Chicken, pickled onion, lettuce. I tried to get as much as I could on. Slinky dog is bobbing away on your head. It's really good. Oh, well, look at that. Tomatoes. They're like peeled from the... Like I love like tomatoes like cooked like that. Look at they're peeled from the vine. I honestly think the chicken is like the weakest part of this. It's not bad, but like the shallot ranch or whatever is like so good. The crouton is amazing. The blistered tomatoes, pickled onion, like very nice. The chicken is like weakest. It's very, pretty average. The bacon is super crispy. I would still definitely get this again. And because I would not skip on the appetizers, I think it's good to have, you know. Yeah. Andre? We got some hefty stuff. So I would repeat this choice again. 
One out of ten. I would go seven. I just want the. I just think he needs a stronger chicken. Okay, that makes sense. I just noticed the Carl and Ellie mailbox from Up. We're done eating. We're just exploring around a bit, and look at this booth. The Luxo balls. Like well, you can see all those Any Pixar. Like this. Yeah, you see all the Pixar icons right up there. This is really nice. Oh wow, look at this. It has uh, cars all on the table. They have tables with fire, and this is like uh, one of the views I was talking about. Just like really picturesque views of Pixar Pier. All right, heading out. All right, Sam, so what do you think of Lamplight Lounge? I think the theming is incredible. Theming's incredible. I uh, think these the are nice. food is amazing. Yes. There was like a whipped blue cheese that was in my salad that was so good. Like, yeah. it was, like for a salad, it was like a very elevated salad. Like yeah. all the elements were. Everything so as far as, it was definitely lounge food. It wasn't like yeah. a fine dining experience. Uh, but it was like but very was, high quality lounge. It was, lounge yeah, it was food. elevated lounge food. Yeah. I would personally would love to come back and sit outside and just like eat the nachos. Yeah. Because I wish we had a better the seat. The chair but. was so comfortable, but it was like good for lounging, not good for eating. <laughs> Especially when we had all that food on the table. It was an uncomfortable I, way to eat. We, for sure. I was so like sunk down in the yeah. chair that it was like hard for me to tasty. eat. I thought it was forcing so, you to go to sleep. Yeah. It was so it was like <laughs> yeah. kind of uncomfortable. Yeah. Beautiful restaurant. But, yeah. And the, the attention to detail, the theming, uh, you pretty much, it's an eyegasm in there. Any, anywhere you look, you're going to be able to find another nod to another Pixar film. It was a lot of fun. The food is very and good. What? We don't have to steal the coasters <laughs> because they gave us. Yes, if you ask, they will give you coasters, which, which is awesome. Definitely a little hint of magic. We didn't even ask, actually. We just yeah, gave no, it to well, us, so. we literally have yeah. like Yeah, and I'm very excited for that, and I'm excited to hopefully see wondrous journeys so we're going to try to have a wondrous journey trying to get a spot for wondrous journeys right now definitely an awesome time though at lamplight lounge one of the great things about disneyland is that i could just leave california adventure and park hopping is is right there that's disneyland all right we're in disneyland hopefully we can get a spot all right we've staked out our spot we want to be able to see the castle as well as the projections on Main Street. Because I hear those are pretty cool too. So we're like right in between. All right, we're all lined up. Well, I think it's about to start. For over a hundred years, Walt Disney Animation Studios has invited audiences to believe in things never thought possible. And so tonight, we once again invite you to wish upon stars, to step into the unknown, and to join us on this, our wondrous journey. Some things start out big, and some things start out small. But sometimes the smallest thing can make the biggest changes of all. Hard to know just where it starts.
Yeah, see Wondrous Journeys. That's I don't know if that or Happily Ever After are like the two best fireworks shows I've ever seen, uh, or which one is better. Um, better is arbitrary, but that was definitely one of the greatest fireworks shows I've ever witnessed live of all time. What are your thoughts, though? I'm so tired right now. She's been up for 20, we've both been up for 21 yeah. hours. It was our travel day today, so it's been a long day, but yeah. I actually think that might be better than Happily Ever yeah. After, and like, I can't even process that because I didn't think that would ever be possible, but... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. The whatever Imagineers worked on that, or all Imagineers we have respect for, but amazing job. That Winnie the Pooh scene at the end, the Baymax scene where it's like the lasers and he's flying around and then the fire. What a perfect day, too. Like the yes. food we had at Lamplight Lounge. It was a great day. And yeah. we met like two amazing families while we were waiting for the fireworks show. Yeah. And like we just got to like, get to know them like while we were waiting and it made the time go so fast. And it was just, it was, if you're watching, it was really nice to meet you guys. It was. Um, we had a great it just, time. It like added to our magical day. It really was. Uh, we recommend everything we did in this video <laughs> if you have the opportunity to Oh, I also to do got it. ice cream too that's not in the video yeah. but was very good. Yes, yeah, the ice cream shop right next to Carnation Cafe. I got this Dalmatian mint sundae that was really good. Amazing. Fun. Yes. Amazing food all day. Amazing time with beautiful views uh, at Lamplight Lounge. Being able to see wondrous journeys for the first time with all those amazing scenes. I, yeah, I recommend doing it again. And if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing, it also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time that videos come out. Which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. The only issue for, for me guys, for what you saw in this video, will probably be the view of Cinderella, I'm sorry, uh, Sleeping Beauty Castle. I'm so used to saying Cinderella Castle. Um, because it's this camera, it was hard from where I was. I gotta learn for this park, I gotta be a little bit closer, but um, I think I had a little bit more of the fireworks. And I was able to show those awesome projections on Main Street for a little bit, Sam. Yeah, ready for bed? I just, I wish yeah. I could just sleep here. Honestly, <laughs> I literally would just go on a bench right now and just... Well, you're sleeping at the Disneyland Hotel, so that's the closest you can get to actually sleeping at Disneyland. And so, we come to the end of this chapter. Oh no, please, can't we go back to page one and do it all over again? But who? It's just another turn of the page. And I, for one, think what comes...